Since the beginning of time, man has asked many questions. In the search to find new things, new adventures, new sounds, new experiences. Today, we're going to be venturing into the C series of experimental non existent pianos from Sample Tech. Come along. So welcome back. This is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting package from Sample Tech, and that is their C series or CIN series, which stands for Cinematic. And everybody's looking for unique sounds and uh, unusual sounds and combinations. And Sample Tech has years of experience sampling piano libraries, but with the C series. They've taken a little different approach because they are trying to create pianos that do not exist. And this means taking qualities from one piano and another piano and kind of merging them together to create something brand new. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. There are four in the series, uh, Sin A, Sin B, Sin C, and Sin D. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in and take a look at the first uh, piano, Sin A. So they've taken a grand piano, an upright piano, they've run it through some really cool EQs and a tape machine, and out comes Sin A. So you'll notice that I'm using the full version of Contact. All of these pianos uh, require the full version of Contact to use, and I have just have the initial patch pulled up, and all of these are going to share a similar interface, and it's made for experimentation. So I'm just going to play the basic uh, piano that comes right up, and then we're going to mess around with some of the controls. So let's just kind of play a little bit of this and get right into this experimental, non-existent piano that exists now inside your DAW. So the first thing that you hear, you hear a grand piano and you hear an upright piano, but you, you're hearing something a little, a little different. Yeah, so they, they take the, the qualities of both pianos and fuse them together. So we've got a little saturation, a phaser, chorus here, reverb, vibrato, and delay. Let's do that first. Let's just kind of click on the reverb and the delay and see what happens. And we can adjust the... Uh... got the delay time uh, all the way up so let's kind of bring it halfway and we've got the panning and let's uh, do some more with the stereo imaging and we've got a color and the reverb Cool spacious sound out of that. Mm -hmm. 
and messing around with those controls, it just kind of dials you into different uh, different environments and different sounds. So let's uh, let's just try uh, something with the uh, with the chorus and turn the reverb and delay off, and let's check that out. So that kind of turns it into almost like an electric uh, electric upright. Uh, so let's just uh, play around with the depth and take the phase a little bit. That's nice. A chorus kind of warms up the sound a little bit. So basically that's the, that's the first one, C A, Sin A, like in sin a -matic. And let's just kind of just before we leave, just uh, leave this first piano, let's just kind of listen to the dynamics a little bit. So it's like an upright and a grand, but your your brain is kind of trying to figure out which one, which one are we, which one are we listening to? So okay, so that's sin A. So now this is kind of unusual. This is taking a grand piano, a mellotron of all things, a harpsichord, running it through some really cool EQs and the room ambience, and then going through a tape machine, and then here we have. Sin B, uh, cinematic B. So let's take a let's take a listen and hear how this one sounds. Okay, and it's really cool because the different pianos have the different interfaces and, and things. But you'll notice a similarity in the controls. So we've got a different um, a different control here called Attack, and we're gonna we're gonna check that out. Experiment cinematic B. <laughs> here we go. Let's go into a different key. Let's go into A. So that doesn't have the attack portion on there. So it's kind of like it's it's kind of like almost like a pad type of sound. But you hear that little Mellotron influence in there. But let's click on the attack. Now this is going to turn on that uh, harpsichord attack, and uh, so it's kind of tacked. The attack is tacked onto the front end of the uh, of this piano here. So let's check it out. going on in that you hear all kinds of interesting things going on with all the different harmonics and then you hear that Mellotron coming up in the end now let's tack on some uh, reverb got to have a little reverb Pocketfuls of experiments, and that's what makes these kind of fun, because you just have all of these different ingredients um, that you can just really pull out some really interesting things out of when when you just uh, get into it. Now I got the phaser. Yeah, let's just turn that speed down a little bit.
and let's just turn it down a little bit more and let's throw on some delay yeah she can get some really interesting things down at the bottom at that little and it's probably the harpsichord the harpsichord's got that really bright uh biting attack on it which uh which gives it that really interesting sound um, okay so good so we've got sin a and sin b so let's go to sin c i'm living on the air in cincinnati Okay, so Sin C is um, a grand piano that's close mic'd and a grand piano that's ambient mic'd. And then you have an, a resonance layer plugged through a tape machine, recorded through a tape machine, and out comes Cinematic C or Sin C. Very cool. Okay, and here we go again. We've got... Uh, a little different things here. We see the attack again, but we see the pedal up, noise off, and then the resonance volume. So let's just uh, play it out of the box and then we'll do some experimenting. And then you can hear having that close mic and that ambient you hear that really nice depth to this. Yeah, this, this says cinematic. It's just got that the width and the depth. This was without any, anything turned on. Uh, so let's turn the attack off and then the pedal, the pedal up off and just here. So you take the attack portion off. It makes it sound more distant. And then you got the pedal off, so it just kind of kind of cuts off. Yeah. So let's turn the attack back on. And let's adjust this resonance. Yeah, so when you have the key held down, that brings that extra resonance layer in and you can adjust the volume on that. And 
And I'm just finding myself playing this is just takes you into those real ethereal type spaces, real ethereal spaces. And you almost don't need reverb too much. Let's let's just go ahead and turn that turn it on and just kind of check it out. Um, because it's already kind of kind of spacious sounding because of that uh, the ambient mic is involved in this. And you've got that rich bottom end. And then of course we can just Throw some delays. Listen to that. And now you can get into some sound, little sound design types of things. Turn the vibrato on. So you can go from really crazy to really beautiful. It's just like you've got all these test tubes of sound and uh, you're kind of blending and mixing and you don't know exactly what you're going to come up with. And uh, some, uh, some could even escape from the lab or, you know, you just, you just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> really a lot of fun okay so we're doing good and we've got uh, one more to look at and that is cinematic b or sin d cindy i have one question dr frankenstein that's frankenstein is the result of putting a fender Rhodes mark one running it through a chorus and then pairing it with a digital fm electric piano and then out comes sin d It's got a really interesting um, softness to it. There are no mistakes, they're just happy improvisations. So. <laughs> Now what I want to do here, I want to just bump up the velocity uh, on the MIDI track. I'm just going to scale it up a little bit because I'm hearing a nice little bite from that uh, Mark I. I'm going to bring it up even a little bit more. So. I, in my MIDI track, I've got like a velocity uh, that I can scale it up or back, increase the overall. So I'm going to just scale it up to about 25 and um, just hear what that does to it. So it's got a little dirt from the Mark I and a little bit of the clarity and the more digital FM sound from the FM EP. So here we go. Let's uh, put a little chorus on there, a little more chorus. Let's just put a little bit of saturation, a little, 
a little saturation on there. And anytime you are messing with delays and things, you're going to hear a little bit of a little bit of the stuff going on as it's shifting the time domain. bit of the stuff on the end of it. A little reverb here. Yeah, you can just get really crazy. What's so cool is that the effects and everything is are just really accessible right here and you can always save these as snapshots so um, let me just turn these back on and um, let me show you so you've got the camera icon here on contact so what we can do is click in this area is click in this area here oh, no click so all we need to do is click on this disk icon and I'm gonna call this uh, saturated EP saturated EP and we can save that and now that's going to come in our drop down list so when you're experimenting with these uh, settings man it's good to just go ahead and just save these little snapshots so you can always so you can always get back uh, always get back to them I just like that little bite that extra little oomph when you uh, when you dig into this uh, dig into this a little bit uh, more. I love having that those dynamic layers that just help you to kind of express uh, dynamics. So you know the fun doesn't stop with just the single uh, experimental pianos. Uh, what makes it so fun is that they're ingredients. They're like the periodic table of pianos, if you will. And what you can do is to take them even further by combining and experimenting with them. I think that's the fun of you know having different piano libraries and having different sound sources because we can blend them together. So what I did, I created a. Um, I created a multi and with, uh, I just stacked all of these together. And so they're all on the same MIDI channel. And uh, I'm just gonna just kind of turn these, turn these uh, volumes down just a little bit. And then let's blend them together just without any additional effects or anything. Uh, and just to hear uh, what uh, blending all four of these uh, might sound like. I just thought about doing this, just, uh, I said, why not blend them together? Because now, you have the best of A, B, C, and D. Yeah, that gets pretty massive.
I hear the different elements kind of coming in and out and interplaying with each other, especially like um, like with the B, because you've got the uh, the attack turned off because the attack is shaved off and it just kind of comes in a little bit later. And uh, with the Mellotron and the different pads and then the ambience of C, uh, you just have a little bit of that dialed in. So I guess I need to learn to curl, curl these fingers a little bit better. so fun to experiment with all of these beautiful tools and instruments. That's what I love. I love the adventure. I love discovering something new. And with the uh, cinematic series, the sin series, the experimental series, so can you. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, all the links are going to be down in the description below. And make sure you check out all the information. And this is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals. And I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching.